Hi, Sig Sakowitz, your host once again on Sig Celebrity Chefs. And as you know, over the months we've presented you a little bit of ethnic cooking, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So today we're going to present you a little bit of Polish cooking, beef stroganoff, and it being put together in the style of a gentleman who really knows about the meats, because that's where well, his beginnings, humble beginnings, started out behind the counter. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Right. The president of the Polish National Alliance and president of the Polish American Congress, Al Mazewski. Thank you very much for taking the time for what a schedule you have. But well, what are you going to come up with? Will be well, strong enough? First, it's a pleasure to be here. Okay. And I, I don't feel too strange about uh, this, this type of cooking. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the Poles have adopted this uh, beef stroganoff. And as a matter of fact, it's something that many of you have done many, many times, and some have done in a little different manner. I just want to introduce you as to the type of ingredients we're going to use. We'll use some butter. We're going to have some grated, grated onion. As a matter of fact, we'll use sirloin steak. As you can see here, that's how it was. And I mean, how it was. Now this is how it is. <laughs> it has to be cut, cut against the grain in slices, and then sort of uh, reduced into smaller portions. We'll also use the uh, mushrooms, as well as we'll have pepper and salt and nutmeg, and more butter. And then we'll follow it with this, some sour cream, and then a little dash of, of sherry. But you can use various other other fluids like brandy, like maybe brandy, oh, cognac, oh. and things. So it really pep it up. I see. Yeah. You see, when he talked about the meat, did you notice how he described what you do with the meat? Right. Because you you know about those things. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. We'll be back with our guest, Mr. Al Mazeski, after this. Our special guest, the president of the Polish National Alliance and the Polish American Congress, presenting Polish style beef stroganoff. Now, ordinarily with these things, they sometimes even use rice but why do you use noodles well, i guess it's a matter of taste mm -hmm. uh, we've used rice at times and many times used noodles depending on the size of the noodle somewhat a wider somewhat a narrow noodle and it all how a person reacts to the gravy that's put on the noodles and vice versa so it's a matter of taste i like mine with noodles i do too yeah. a little wider ones a little wider ones okay uh, are you ready to fire away i think so go as a matter of fact you're all acquainted with all the meats and the ingredients we have so the first thing we'll have to do is take this butter and put on a hot pan. Mm -hmm. And naturally we'll have the butter melt oh, properly. Yeah. And as and as and as it melts and covers the pan, we will then be able to put in the other ingredients, a tablespoon of uh, let's say the onions, which will have to go in there. We'll add the onions into it and then we will mix it up and as soon as, as soon as it cooks then we'll put the rest of the ingredients. We'll follow that. All right. So we'll just put in the onions at this time and the butter. That's already in. It's already in. Okay. And I get the onions. It. We'll do this for about two minutes or less. And then we'll just have to add, add the uh, beef. We'll add the beef and then we'll c cook it to high heat for okay. about five minutes. All right, you, you, put, in, you put in the meat. I'm going to put of, in the okay. meat. All right. Good. You got to get it all in, like yeah, Mike like used to do. Mix it up. Yeah, right. Well, that, just mix it up so it'll lose its color. Let's see? And this will go on for approximately about five, five minutes. Mm -hmm. And after that, we'll re remove the meat and put it on a platter. starting to lose its color right now. Yeah. So then we'll see that it's properly. So then you say you do this for about five minutes? About five say? minutes. It takes about five minutes roughly, depending, depending on the, the pan. Mm -hmm. Starting to I change guess, pretty I good now. That, yeah. Okay. Because it's we're going to redo it, and we'll put it back in later with all mm -hmm. the rest of the ingredients. There you go. That's there what you it's go. Going to. Now it's starting to take shape. So, see. Now it's starting to take shape. Mm-hmm. 
I will just re remove this and then we'll proceed with the other. Okay, why don't we just take a break and then make certain that we get it Fine. properly done. Very okay, good. Okay, we'll be back after this. All right, now we have to continue uh -huh. a little more right, right. right around. Now we got to resume. We got to get the butter back. Okay. Put more butter into the pan. Okay, and this is very hot now, by the way. It's very hot. Very hot. It's really going to melt. And away. then what we'll do mm -hmm. is take some of this. We'll put the mushrooms in there. You like a lot of mushrooms. And apparently, it uh, it tastes a lot better. Okay. And it helps. All right. And then we'll take some of these seasoning, which mm -hmm. is nutmeg, salt, and pepper. All right. And then we'll put this little sherry quarter glass of sherry wine, cooking, cooking ah. wine. And now all you got to do is mix this up. Go ahead, you do that. We'll do this for about a minute. What a, what a great odor it has to be. Yeah, it, it, it has, really does. Yeah. And it'll turn out to be very appetizing once it starts changing its color. All right. And the cream will be put in. Now, if a minute is up, I think that'll be sufficient. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and we'll put this cream in to add a little, a little bit of better taste as well as a little. Mm -hmm. Now we do this. Then you mix it up again. Keep, now we'll keep stirring it up. Mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we'll take the meat that we already simmered. And we'll take the meat. While you're while grabbing the meat, let me, right let, me do, let me do it this yeah, way like fine. this, okay? Yeah, very good. All right. See, I need an assistant. Why, certainly. So I'm, I'm well, learning this, too. You're, you're, you're the you. chef. No, 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 no. You're, you're the chef. You're the guest chef. Oh, no, yeah, but see, yeah. you're the expert, you see. <laughs> yeah. And all we got to do is mix this up and mm -hmm. just let it let it simmer like this. For, 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 for how at least long? About five minutes five or minutes less. Five minutes at least, uh-huh. You'll just have to watch it to see. Determining as to whether yeah. you want it well, well yeah, done or medium or well. Yeah, I see, I see. That's true. Uh -huh. I just got to make sure that it's all mixed. So all the ingredients aren't in one spot. You look like you do this all the time. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Do you cook on a road at any time or you or hit the or hit the nearest restaurant? No, I take those uh, hotels that have a microwave. <laughs> I know you're always on the road. <laughs> oh. All yeah, right. And this should just, we just let it, let it slowly. Let it cook and simmer yeah, at the same time. Come, okay. let it you say for about four or five it, minutes. Yeah, I'll let it soak up the juice, mm -hmm. the ingredients, the, so it all gets the flavor, the wine, the, the salt, the pepper, and the yeah. nutmeg. As well as the onions. A little bit of that cherry you had too. Yeah. All right. So we could have other things depending on one's taste. All right. Okay. In other words, this goes for about four or five minutes. That's now. right. Okay. Let this cook. Let right. it simmer, and then we'll come back Absolutely. and we'll eat some. Absolutely. We'll taste it. Fine. We'll okay? taste it. Right. You'll be first. All right. After this.